The workshops you know, provide a really good opportunity for our community to all be involved. Um, you know, all have a, have a say um, and contribute to fire. You know, especially if we have some, you know, aspirations on, on establishing a really solid fire program, a fire team, really incorporating cultural burning practices back into contemporary management. You know, fire is, is embedded and features in a lot of our creation and Dreamtime stories. And so our stories are all about um, conservation, sustainability, about safety. So yeah, so now's the time. It's important to start promoting cultural burning um, to be role models for the next generation. Uh, yeah, to show them that we how important it is to be putting fire on ground as a tool to look after country, for country. Yeah. Cousin Brittany were talking about finding charcoal that was dated about years ago, and that just just satisfied me. Like, it makes me like, wow, that it's it's there. People been here and walk through here and burn through here, live through here, eat. The opportunity is just good. Bring it back and giving it let the traditional owners burn it. And that's probably why it's so important because at the end of the day, it heals the country at the end. Our ignition of fire um, came from country, our way of life not just um, land management, but also cooking, making artefacts, ceremony, warm travel, and also things like signal as well. Reason for burning is a number of things. One of the main one is keeping that eco balance. What we face at the start is proving ourselves. There are people against fire because they don't understand it. So you actually have to educate them. Then there's other obstacles where different times of the year other things will interrupt it, like uh, having big events that will happen at that time but just don't want to see that negative image of burning. There are small negatives to it but lots of benefits once you get past those barriers. Fire opportunities come from working with our partners and for a program like ours that's pretty exciting that we can partner up and learn those different styles and also at the same time bring in our cultural knowledge around fire burning. We, we were moved off our country so that's when all the, you know, all our, well, burning like, you know, our fires sort of stopped. Uh, we were all moved off country to Yarrow, see my grandfather and all of that. So <clears throat> we never really went back to live on country but Today now, I'd, I'd like the country to be, you know, to be clean, and and the best way is to is to burn it. <laughs>